Uh, okay, so that just happened. I'm not really sure what that was. <laughs> Quantum Moon. Oh, you're very close. I'm pretty. And now you're gone. It's strange to imagine that literally no one else is looking at that moon. Surely there's like something that's observing it, but oh well. Uh, so where do we want to go? Let's see. Uh, I feel like we gotta explore. Dark Bramble next. Yeah, there's the white ball. Uh, but yeah. Dark Bramble. I don't want to go back to Dark Bramble, you know? Is there anything we can do on the Hourglass? Wait. Why is that saying I'm here? And I'm here. Wait, what? Uh, that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, let me load and unbuckle. Let me let me see if there's anything to do there still. No, it doesn't say so. Anything on the ember mine, I guess. Okay, we could we could track the escape pod maybe. And I know there's more in the Sun City, so I guess we could also do that. And the fish. Angler fish. Alright, I guess there's more on the Ember Twins, so we'll do that first. Since we gotta fill time unless or until I can check out what the what the dealio is with uh, Mr. Ashtwin. Let's go there. There we go. Mm. Let's uh actually ugh. let's overshoot it by a landslide. Now uh let's see signal scope and then that's the one. Yeah, I want to go over to that. I think I just got sucked into the sand beam for a bit. Let's see. Oop. Oop. Clean. Alright. Uh, already have it. Bam. Let us... Mark you. Alright, we already did. Uh, in that case... Uh, we need status report for all systems, but initial things first, everyone unharmed. Our escape pods passengers are afraid, but physically well. Everyone survived. Blah, blah, blah. I want to say we already did this, but I'm not 100% sure. Bonk. So I'm just gonna spam read this. There we go. I mean, we must have done this, because we've been to the Summit City. And I believe this is the way you gotta go. This is the escape hatch. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Ooh. There is a horror at the end of this one. Aha. That's the angler fish. Okay. Uh, chip log updated, so that's good. Let us read this one. I assume there's nothing gonna be in here, but you know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> We're being furrow this time. Which will likely mean that I can't go to the sun of the city. But maybe. Who knows. Mm. 
Alright, let's just make a run for the Sunless City, actually. <laughs> Don't remember where exactly you gotta go. But I do believe the pathway is clear. Basically just follow the text. Uh, yeah. This is not the way. <laughs> I am a fool. I don't think we gotta go in there either. Gotta go over here. Oh no. Okay. This looks familiar at least. Alright. Sand! <laughs> I assume that's still air rapey, but hey. Uh... I need to be. No. I believe this is. Yes. All right, Summer City. I remember you. Lights. Already too late for the lowest level, so I guess big sad. What if we go to the highest level? That seems like something I wouldn't do. What's in here? Oh, that goes to the gravity can. I guess that's our way out. Okay, that makes sense. That's the way we came in. So then, naturally, this is the only way we can go. That's the stepping stone cave. Man, I wish the ship log was like portable, so I actually knew what I was looking for in here. <laughs> but oh well. Hmm. I should have refilled my oxygen, actually. Bonk. Yeah, I just noticed that. Eh. There we go. Smooth. Come on. There we go. So what is this then? Okay, there, there's another ship log update, that's good. Is this a tree? No, it doesn't count as one. Sad. I think this is still part of the city, so that's no good. Although there's more text. You'll have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go to the stepping stone cave, and then up and into the fossil fish cave. Wait. Hmm. Oh. Well, I should have shot a lantern in there, but I didn't. <laughs> because I'm stupid, so we're just blindsiding it. Uh, 
Actually, I'd rather not, because <laughs> I'm going to die because of oxygen and lack thereof. Ah, glorious trees. Let me, uh, big suck. Nice. Uh... Burr, burr, burr. Speed reading. I'm gonna be so upset if, like, I already read this. Or didn't read this. Okay, I did read this because of my ship log. It did update! What do you mean? Okay, I didn't read this then. Fine. Uh, she would build a sun station to power the Astrian project. Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Uh, theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we hope to complete the Ashland project. Uh, I almost can't comprehend this is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Unsurprisingly, I dare, I disagree. Uh, we're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. Uh, if we fail and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of this star system. I wish to protect these species. Uh, the potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build a sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in pie. Poke, I'm deeply honored. Idea, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station choose. Okay. Well, we already know what that was built for. I guess this is just like filling in the gaps or something. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, I guess I'll go the long way. <laughs> oh no. There's some deadly rocks there. Ow. No. Hold up, I need to grab my camera. I also barely have any fuel left. Is there no bad stuff here? Uh. Oh, there definitely is, but it's like right inside of there. Okay. Oh, why did I put away my camera? like wanting me to get in there. Well, I'd love to go down there, but I believe this is a danger zone. Oh no. Do they want me to wait until the sand reaches this part? No. Okay. They want me to cross. Come on. There we go cross over that part. Ooh. Well, this isn't gonna be nice. Okay, and now just aim for that. Alright. Uh, be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. Yes, yes, we get it. You're all a bunch of 
religious lunatics, but also scientific lunatics. If the Ike fall to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did something happen to it? Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. All sound hypothesis. Uh, did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal, or did we hear the signal by coincidence? Oops. We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced incidentally. Does that mean the eye is any less important, though? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. Hmm. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? It could be naturally occurring. Though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. Very gap here. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't know if that was necessary. But I think we spent enough time to go to the Ash Twin now. Uh, so... This is to the graph again. Yes. Uh oh. Uh. This is all fine. Uh -huh. Okay, but this is fine. Bonk. I need to get to my ship. Let's try to use as little fuel as necessary. Then, yeah, also just gonna go away now. Oh. Broken door. All right. Let's see what we discovered, and then also see where we're at. The sun is very red. Uh, hello. Oh, we didn't really learn more. Uh, but there is something here. Okay. Uh, a nomad city built into the walls of a huge underground cavern. The city is divided vertically into four districts. Nomad debated building a sun station in order to power the Ashwin project. Yes, yes, we already know this. Uh... We still gotta find the anglerfish also. Okay. Uh, also, there is more there, but that is the brittle, right? Or is this? Right, this is brittle hollow, right? Yeah. Because uh, if I go to the map... Yeah, that's the old settlement. Okay. Uh, weird. Some station we already did. Ember Twin. Okay, so we did actually complete the Sunless City. Nice, nice. I guess the Anglerfish fossil can be next, but... I want to go to the Ash Wind now. Uh, no, not there. That's just gonna be marked now. Don't care. Uh, Ashwin, hello. You beautiful, beautiful thing, you. Um, I hope I have enough time. Apparently, I do. Let me just, uh. Come on. A little bit closer. Just so you're flat. Sure, good enough. Uh, give fuel. There we go. I mean, that's a decent parking job, you know. Alright. So 
we now know we gotta wait until the sand column passes over and then just like hammer down here because I want to know why there are two signals of me now because that's weird <laughs> and usually when this game gets weird it gets good <laughs> that's a really good guideline Oh boy. Get ready, boy. Here we are again. Alright, so what's going on then? Uh, so I have seven minutes. Easy. Uh, oh! Why, hello there. Talk to Cell. Wait. Are you from the last loop? I think so. I started this current loop by popping out of a white hole inside the Ashton project. Wait. Cause, yeah, because I started at the campfire. Makes sense to me, seeing how jumping into the black hole is definitely what created two of us. Oh, I didn't jump into it! I got sucked into it! I didn't even know there was going to be a black hole! What do you think happens if you don't jump into the black hole again at the end of this loop? Uh... Well, if I don't, then... Where did you come from? Yeah, that is a paradox. Oh no. I mean, I feel as real as ever, so I don't think I'm a figment of your imagination, or anything like that. Yeah, I'm not an expert, but he does seem pretty real to me. At any rate, it's been good talking to you. Me. Incredibly strange, but good. See you around. Um. Alright, I guess that explains why there's two of us. But that also poses a problem. Of which I do not know the answer. I mean, what happens if I touch him? <laughs> okay, good. Nothing broke. <laughs> I was really worried that might happen. I guess, yeah, since he doesn't have a ship. He could have... He could have gone onto the white hole and just wait for... It to pass over, right? Or was he stuck here until that got activated? I don't remember how the black and white holes worked in this game. Oh, I know they, like, link to each other, but other than that... Alright. Well, you know, I don't intend to jump into it again. Even though that... yeah... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I... There we go. And uh, where is my ship? I parked it close. Oh! Oh, would you look at that? That's very nice. Thank you, Mr. Sand Column. Oh no. I hate you, Mr. Sand Column! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! This can't be how it ends. Oh my god. Oh, why do I only have upwards facing rust? I guess I gotta wait for the sand comb to pass around again. Though I don't know if it's gonna. I surely hope it does. I mean, I guess I can... Nope, that's just gonna stick to that, isn't it? Well, you made it into my ship. Why do I have to be fat? Open hatch. Hmm. Oh, there he comes. Please! Please, Mr. Sand Golem! Save me! God, this is a really stupid way to get stuck. Why did he get impaled onto this spike? Not even I could 
anything I can do about it. I'm just stuck here. Alright. Let's just, uh... I mean, we're not gonna have much time left either. So I wonder, whatever shall we do? Here it comes. There we go. Yeah, thank you for that. Cheers, mate. Uh. Oh, look at you, all filled with fan. Oh, that's the sun. No, 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 no. Bye bye. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bye bye. <laughs> God, you are very big. It's like gonna kick in any second now. Uh, let me just set you as a target to know. Okay, yeah, we're not going into the sun. Uh, no. Anything I can do, like, quickly. Well, it's only the old settlement that's telling me about. Or I guess... The Nomai were mining somewhere in Timber Harp. Oh. Okay. And what is this? Statue Workshop. Oh yeah, I didn't discover that either. I got the probe tracking module. Code, whatever. Uh, Rebeck. Wait, I haven't talked to Rebeck yet? Probably should do that. <laughs> yeah, and then the fossil, and then the vessel. <laughs> the fossil and the vessel. Perfect. Uh, let me do that. Where is Rebeck? Uh, that's quantum distress. Hide and seek. There. Oh, there's the music. Rebeck, where are you? You're probably there. I doubt I'll get there in time. <sighs> oh boy. I guess it's on autopilot, so I can just. Watch. <laughs> this is gonna, like, drive into Rebag last second. <laughs> like, yo, I'm here! you now at least I'll like find you next cycle I guess I think I saw a campfire that's probably yep oh please no <laughs> come on oh come on just just land somewhere in here don't be annoying we got time no I can literally see- Identified! I got you. <laughs> Nailed it. Now to get out of here. la 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 da Where's the sun coming from, actually? Usually not that hard to see. Oh, there. Hey -o. Uh... Oh my god, again? Really? How? Yeah, yeah, we get it. We get it. Well, that's just stupid. And now I gotta load the previous save. Well, I hope it saved everything. And otherwise... We got some more exploring to do. 